I'd like to make two comments on the, on the matter that you're all expecting. Uh, uh, my senior brother, Kwesi. Well, you know, what can I say? I mean, when you're dealing with the people that you love, uh, it's, it's really difficult. It's, it's really, really difficult. But um, what I can say is that, assuming without admitting that the narrative that he put out is correct, because it's partly incorrect, the narrative he put out is partly incorrect, but that's not important. I think that the way he refers to Mpna and Mpna that died, I, I, I watched the video and I think it's very disrespectful of women. And I mean, I thought the society has grown beyond that. This is totally disrespectful of women. You don't know the woman you are talking about. You don't know whether her profile is better than mine and yours put together. And then you talk about no tatao, na usikenti na oshishel or something like that. No, Tata, when I will see Kenti, that is so disrespectful. How do you know whether the, the lady in question is a rich woman, high profile woman? How do you, why are we like that? I thought that culture was gone. You disrespect a senior person like that. Because you see, you're a senior person, you're an important person. And then you, you throw invectives about, about women as if they are nothing. Obano, Oyeompuna, no, Tata, Usikenti. I mean, I, I, about him. So I say, I mean, da da, and mentions her name. That is so disrespectful of women. And you know, a society that respects women, it's a progressive society. I thought that since 2017, and even since Professor Mills, Ghana has changed. And now Nana Kufado is gender champion. An important person like that sits on a TV station, the respected TV station like TV3, with a host. And, and he, Mr. Smart, he, was, he appeared to be laughing, giggling. He didn't even strike him that this is disrespectful of women. Two men sit down and talk about women in then Otata Usikentina. You don't know the person. You don't know whether she's richer than all of us. You don't know whether her profile is bigger than mine and yours could see put together. And you speak derogatory about a woman like that because she's a woman. You see, when important people do that, the younger generation pick it up. And then they think that women are just some objects. So when they have a woman within their control, they abuse them, and they go to jail. That's what happens when younger people hear this kind of narrative. Invective being thrown out, they're being described in the most sheepish manner, the most derogatory manner. A man and a woman appear in a place. You allege that the appearance is untoward, something like that. You don't say anything about the man. You say about the woman, no, tatao, usikentino diwich. That's so crass. And so disgraceful because it's disrespectful of women. I was so embarrassed. You can talk about me all you want. Everyone knows me, so you can deal with it. You can say, Paul, I don't know what That's okay. But you don't know the person that you purport to be talking about. And you cast her in such a derogatory manner. You don't know whether the person is a high profile person. You don't know whether I'm benefiting from the person with ideas. You don't even know. You don't know whether it's, I beg the person to come there with me because I, can, I want to tap into her brain about something. You think women don't have brains? They are just there to tata men. And geomusika. when you do that and you have a thought process like that, you will end up abusing women and you might go to jail. When you do that kind of thing, you, you, you think women are some objects. Then they are, they, are, they are to be used. They are to be tata. They should tata us and we give them money. That's all what you think women are about. You haven't seen Georgina Wood. You haven't seen Justice Joyce Bamford Ado. You haven't seen Jean Mensah. You didn't see Charlotte Osei. In this 2022 Ghana, you haven't seen the products of our secondary schools. You haven't watched the lady who came from Keta Secondary School and stunned the whole nation at the Science and Math Quiz. All these are women, and for that young woman, she needs, to, she needs to know that Ghanaian men respect women. And the least we can do in this generation is to respect women. And that's the kind of society that progresses. America is what it is, Britain is what it is, because they respect women. They respect the aged, and they treat children well. We can't go on doing that. So casually, he talks about the woman so casually. And that's what I picked from the video. I mean, all those who are asking me what you have to say, I don't have anything to say. But this is, this is really bad. Disrespect for women. It's not good at all. And that's what I saw from Kwesi's video. My senior brother Kwesi, 
it's time that you are a leader. And you know, I, I think viewers on a very, very serious note here, I think that we must assure my brother Kwesi that we love him. He shouldn't, he, you know, the way he's acting, it's as if he doesn't believe that we love Kwesi Chedakwa. I mean, he taught us a lot of things. He taught us how to pronounce words. Saturday 7.30, for people of my generation, Saturday 7.30, that time there was no FM, like those of you can have it now. Kwesi lighted up the nation on GBC's radio. Pops on the move or something like that is what he called the program. That is the real Kwesi on your TV. Kwesi, we love you. We still love you. We don't care. We love you. We don't care what they say about you or what they said about you. We love you. Folks, I think Kwesi needs the assurance that we love him. So he should calm down. We just love him. And why do we love him? Because he has done something for us. I mean, we can never forget Saturday 7.30 p.m. on GBC Radio. We can never forget people like Kwesi Chedakwa, Tommy Annan Forsen, Carl Ajman Banaman, Godwin Avenogbo. We cannot forget those people. We love them. And Kwesi, you are the one who was closest to the youth because you were the youngest of all the names I've mentioned, Charlie Sam. You were the youngest of them. And so you were closer to us, the youth, at least in age. And you will turn up at Christ the King at fun fairs of secondary school children. And you will light the whole place up. So we have not forgotten. I think that Kwesi needs assurances that we have not forgotten that we love him. We have, we have not forgotten what you did. Kwesi, we love you. But... A big but, my senior brother, a big but. Do not teach us to disrespect women. That's wrong. You can't talk about a woman anyhow like that. How do you know the amount of money in her pocket compared to the amount of money in my pocket? To just assume that the or tata because of. I mean, I was, I was, I felt so embarrassed. That's just speak in a way to just disrespect women. Disrespecting all the women in the category, my ear, your impanada da, the so-called impana you are talking about, you speak in such a derogatory manner about women. A senior, important person like that, people were calling me and said that the last Thursday flyer, why did you call him broadcast legend? But he is. Kwesi is a broadcast legend. He is a broadcast legend, he is. And, I mean, oh my, I was, I don't, I don't know what to say, but this, this was really bad, really, really bad. And what were we talking about? We were arguing over conflict of interest. That's the argument. You have a position of conflict of interest. I had a position of conflict of interest. We articulated our position intellectually here. You said certain things, we told you you can't say that. We showed you why you can't say that. We demonstrated to you that you did not look at the documents. You had no documents and you just spoke on emotions. And that should then draw you to find something to say. And what you say is to disrespect women. When you disrespect women like that, and you find the woman under your control within an environment, you will abuse the woman. And you might go to jail. And our young people shouldn't learn that women are to be disrespected. I mean, should, I can't even, I was going to play, but I looked at the video and I said, that's why the video that we showed, we shut the sound. Show it again. Show that we, we, we deliberately shut the sound. Because it's embarrassing. Look, 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 look at look at him, look at him. Look. Oh, 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 KKD. Oh God. Look, look at him, look at him. Hey. Is that the finest? That's how we used to call him. The finest. Kwesi Che Dakwa was. I still, he, I believe he still is the finest. And look, 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 look at him, look at him. And he was clapping his, oh my goodness. What can make a man as fine as Kwesi Chedakwa become like this? The other day he was talking about your foolish children and all that. I, 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 don't, I don't know, I mean I've been beside, and I've been calling all my friends, those of us who really knew him. I mean, where is a, where is a Goschil MC? Kwesi will know the names I mentioned. Goschil MC and the other guy, what are they called? Roy Steele. Roy Steele MC and Goschil MC. They used to be based in London. They will fly into Accra and be in the studio with Kwesi to do his job. 
And we, we were in such awe and admiration of the finest. If a prophet had told us that 25 years down the line, Kwesi will be talking like this in a manner that you cannot even reconcile with the Kwesi Cheidakwa that we know. Folks, I mean, I think it is important for us to assure KKD that we have not forgotten what he did. We still love him. We have not forgotten. Kwesi, we still love you. We have not forgotten what you did. We have not forgotten the things you taught us. We've not forgotten. And you didn't teach us because you taught us. You taught us because we were learning from you without you even knowing. You are an icon. And you can remain an icon. If only these kinds of invective that show a disrespect to women can be taken out. And then your points can be made. There's no better entertainer in Ghana than, than, than Kwesi Chedaku. I mean, look at how you lighted 24th nights on Kojo Inchi's show. You still do it. You are the, we love you, Kwesi. We love you. Please calm down. And don't, don't teach us to disrespect women because that is very, very bad. This, this, this reference to Mimpna Dada and Mimpna and Otatao and Usika. Sika? Really? A, a woman you don't know? Why don't you think it's the man who is asking for the Sika? Why didn't you say Paul? Now, why, didn't, why don't you say that? Because you know me, so you can say that about me. But you don't know her. And you're saying Usikenti. That's so disrespectful. Do you know her? It's, it's so disrespectful. And I'm saying that if the young people learn this kind of disrespect to women, what they will do is that when they find a woman under their control, they will abuse the woman. And if you abuse a woman, you will go to jail. And the jail should keep you there forever. If you abuse a woman because you disrespect women, you will go to jail. And the jail should keep you forever. And we don't want our young women to grow like that because we want to build a country of young men and young women. So, I mean, that's, that's the one thing I'll say. The next thing I'll say is to go over to the touch screen and explain to all those who sent me text messages. And I, I like that. One guy called me from SAS, very clever boy. And he said, uh, Mr. Paul, you didn't see anything about it. He texted me, actually. Uh, you know, because my number is common. I, I give my number to everyone who wants to reach me. There's no problem about that. He texted me and said, you, you didn't talk about the conflict of interest. Now, that started on Friday, I think. And I was getting, I told people screenshot the old students' platform. I saw Atomota 88 and I think uh, Adisadel 92, something like that. It was a hot, very heated debate. And that's why I began the statement by, by thanking people for the wide conversation about this conflict of interest. And they all said that, ah, but after everything you said, you didn't talk about that. I saw a, a court of appeal judge uh, at a party on Saturday. And they said, I really like that program. But, you know, you should have explained the conflict of interest. So I was concerned that it looks like we, in, in presenting the program, we did not say much about the conflict of interest. So then we put up that on usually on a Sunday on our social media page, that this is our view on the matter relating to conflict of interest. I'll do that now on the touch screen so we can sort of share in it. But that the second comment. The first comment is, I mean, this one, this one is, this one is, this one is, this one is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one is, is not good. Chrissy, I beg you. Yes, I'm your junior brother. You're my senior brother. I want to assure you that not just me, all the people of my generation, we love you. We have not forgotten. So calm down. You are still an icon. You are still the finest. Calm down. Show us, teach us to respect women. That's very, very, very important. Teach us to respect women. Those who are close to him still, please remind him that he's an icon. People follow what he does. He should learn and teach us, those coming after him, to respect women. Don't come and talk about women in a derogatory manner. As if she's on rag. Ah! I was so devastated. Is that KKD? Anyway. Much ado, I finished. Let's go to the other one. Uh, who? Smart. Oh. Mr. Smart, what do I have to say about him? 
do you know one thing I can say? He's my man. And I, I, you know, I used to talk about how he wears black spectacles in the morning. I think he's top. You know, I think he watches our program and he sees that we are doing paperwork and book and book and all of that. The other day he tried to do it. Do you know what happened to him? So he said, Kwame Nkrumah, he said he read a book and quoted a page and said, Kwame Nkrumah had said that, they had predicted that Russia will attack Ukraine. I put my head like this. I said, oh, Jesus. And then social media went after him. The guy didn't even understand the geopolitics because he won't open a book and read it. He won't. Geopolitics of the world will tell you that. By the time Nkrumah died in 1972, Russia and Ukraine were one country. He said it on his program. That, yeah, Nkrumah say, Russia, Nkrumah predict. I say, oh, Jesus, what is this man talking about? Then my phone started ringing. And when I pick it, everyone was laughing. He said, hey, are you watching your man? You hear what he said? I said, oh, God. Nkrumah predict. That's what Smart said on TV. I think he's trying to get into the book thing. And we are delighted that journalists must get into the book thing. I hope that over the next five years, most of our current affairs program will have this touch screen analysis, researching, putting out constitutional articles, putting out data, and challenging the, the status quo. That's what we have set out to do over the last four years, to challenge the status quo using book knowledge. And I, I'll tell you a story about what Kweku has found for me. He's found the, um, the British parliamentary debate in the late 1956 of Ghana's independence. We are working on it. We'll show you. That's the kind of work that excites me. And I'm going to give that guy something. You know, the guy knows how to get me. He knows that history is my weakness. So he sent me that. He said, boss, I've sent you something. I said, what is it? You look at your phone. And he knew that to me it was going to be orgasmic to see the debate of the British Parliament about Ghana's independence in November 1956. And MPs were talking about Ghana and why the independence should go this way and that way. And eventually, at the close of the debate, the bill was granted voted for by the British Parliament to give the Gold Coast independence under the name of Ghana. Fantastic. We'll, we'll deal with it. We'll show it to you. But I think that's what Mr. Smart was trying to do. And then he said something completely... What he said is, is just suicidal to geopolitics. He doesn't understand geopolitics. It's, nobody was born understanding geopolitics. We all took a book and read it. Take a book, open it, and read it. Because you have a responsibility to teach the public and educate the public. Media is education, entertainment, and information. Kwesi Ichei Dakwa knows that. He's a broadcast legend. He should tell Captain Smart that it's, a it's not to teach them how to insult them. He says, Paul Ademoshi is my senior, but he's a fool. I don't mind if you say I'm a fool. I, mean, I don't care. You see, it, it, doesn't worry, it doesn't bother me. Whether I'm a fool or whether I'm smart, people will judge it. So I put a whole thesis out, and all he says is that, Paul Adumoche is a fool. Eh, it's a fool, it's fine. Paul Adumoche is a stomach journalist. That's okay. Yeah. Paul Adumoche is a, it's okay. We will continue to put out the work for the young people to see that this is the way to go. Whether I agree with you or you disagree with me, let us do it intellectually. I do not always agree with some other journalist, but the debate is intellectual because we are building a nation. That's what we are doing. We are not insulting each other. We are building a nation. So you think there's conflict of interest, you research it. I think there's a conflict of interest matter. You should see my text exchange with that guy from SAS. I don't know him. He just sent me text. And for the next 30 minutes, we had a solid intellectual debate on the phone. He texted, I texted. He said, no, you were wrong. I said, no, I wasn't wrong. He said, no, but that's defamation. I said, that's not the definition of defamation. He says, tell me the definition of defamation. I gave him. He said, no, you've left something out of the, the, the definition. I've just checked, checked Webster's Dictionary. This also, I don't know him. And he's a young man. And we are having the, the intellectual debate on the phone. We are disagreeing. But we are having a debate. Not since as smart you can say, Paul, Adumoche is a fool. Okay, and then what next? He's a fool, what next? That's all? That's all you have to say? I mean, but he's my man, so no problem. Uh, I, I, Mr. Smart, if you can do anything for me, bring back the black spectacles that you wear early, early in the morning at 6 o'clock. She's on TV, he's wearing shades. I don't know whether he wants to be homodious or I, I don't know whether he wants to look like he's some, some Al-Qaeda boss or something like that. But. Anyway, good evening to him, good evening to all. But on a more serious note, viewers, on a more serious note, anywhere you find him, assure Kwesi Dakwa that the generations of Ghanaians have not forgotten what he did for Ghana. We have not forgotten. When we used to watch black and white TV, he was the light that showed us how the world looked like. The adverts that he did. I mean, the first advert he put out, some car adverts, I can't remember what car it was, I mean, people of our generation, we were outstanding. I didn't know that this guy we used to call the finest 
will sink so low. Anyway, anyway, because see, all I can say is that we have not forgotten what you did. We love you. But do not teach us to disrespect women. As a society, we have to learn to respect women. Uh -huh. ah, what can I say? Let's move on to the touch screen and do the next one. Attach is already in the studio. We have a bullet interview with uh, Dr. Oseya Oduchum on all the important matters of education. And Atta is here to come and tell us a great story. You see, when God is with you, what, what Atta is coming to show us is that when God is with you, nobody can do anything. Maybe, maybe during our worship service, we'll say it. The Archbishop said, and it's in Lamentations, he said, to subvert a man in his course, appointed by God, the Lord permitted it not. That's a story I thought, I thought was sitting in somewhere. Some guy claims he was paid to go to special prosecutor and lie about Atacha. Special prosecutor began the investigation. That's what he's here to tell us today. And then because Atacha is a policy, so we'll ask him about the Alan Baumi, I think. So stay tuned for that. That's coming. Uh, now, though, uh, again, you see, when I start, then the KKD thing comes. I, I tell him that we love him. We, we beg him. We love him. I think he needs that assurance. Because he needs that assurance and give it to him. That we love him. We have not forgotten what he We love him. Because the way he's going, it, it is worried all of us. Hmm? To disrespect women like that. Sanwe Juma Kanfu Osura Bofu Sorry Wo Aho Yeah. 